Well, it finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. Nintendo finally went too far. Nintendo is like the beloved drunk uncle of the gaming community. He's very nostalgic and he's fun to be around some of the time, but we're all just waiting for that one Thanksgiving where he drinks a little too much Bud Light and decides to use words that no one should use in polite company. And today is that day. Nintendo, after being the most litigious force in gaming for decades, have sued the developers of Paul World. For those of you that haven't played it, Paul World is an open world survival slash monster taming game with elements of base building. Think a little bit of Ark Survival only with your quote unquote pals, aka definitely not Pokemon. The game came out back in January of this year, 2024, and sold reasonably well doing around 15 million units. At the time though, every gaming reviewer and commentator under the sun was making comparisons not between it and other survival games, but between it and Nintendo's beloved franchise, Pokemon, citing an enormous number of similarities between the pals within the PAL world and the various Pokemon of the Pokemon franchise. This immediately led to speculation as to whether Nintendo, the most famously litigious company in gaming, would sue the developers of PAL World about this fact. My own opinion at the time, and many of the commentary channels I watch and even legal experts online, was that this was probably unlikely given the game had been in development for some time and was openly advertising these character models. On top of that, with the game being popular and such a successful release, it was unlikely that Nintendo would take the family-friendly hit of pursuing this. Well, I've got no excuse, I'll now believe that Nintendo will sue absolutely everyone. All we know for sure right now is that the lawsuit against Pal World has been confirmed by Nintendo themselves with a corporate release on their website reading, filing lawsuit for infringement of patent rights against Pocket Pair Incorporated, that's the developer and publisher of Pal World. The lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the grounds that Pal World a game developed and released by the defendant infringes multiple patent rights. Nintendo will continue to take actions necessary against any infringement of its intellectual property rights, including the Nintendo brand itself, to protect intellectual properties it has worked hard to establish over the years. Now let's remember this comes hard on the heels of a year in which Nintendo has already shut down Yuzu, the major Switch emulator that also ran on Steam Deck reasonably well. While the other Steam Deck emulator, Ryujinx, remains active, people suspect that Nintendo saw the practice of taking Patreon donations for the latest beta updates to Yuzu and thought this was one step too far and really took them out, even making them issue a formal apology. Also this year, Nintendo stripped down all of their titles, even the ones that are no longer available in any physical or digital form from the famous emulation website Vims.com. Now it's important to remember that Japan does have different copyright laws than Western countries and is perfectly happy to try and enforce those copyright laws on people outside of Japan if they feel it crosses a line. What does this mean for PAL World? Well, I admit I have absolutely no idea at the moment. One thing that speaks in favor of the game being shut down pretty darn quickly is the fact that both companies are within Japan. So this is not a Japanese company taking, say, a U.S. company to court and having to decide where that case is going to be settled. They say in the filing itself that they're taking an injunction, which is basically a legal action to stop someone doing something. They don't say exactly what that is in the short filing. I'll, my Japanese is pretty bad, but I will try and search online and uh, find the original legal document sometime later today after making this video, if it's available. However, I think we can safely assume that the injunction is against sales of the game. I think it's gonna involve either sales of the game or items within the game such as the pals themselves that would make it impossible to you know continue selling the game with them in it how on earth they do such an injunction in the digital era is a little bit beyond me because i can't remember the last time that happened we had something similar with the game dark and darker out of korea but that hadn't fully been released yet and was just removed from the steam store temporarily in the case of pal world i'm pretty sure it's still on xbox game pass not to mention a lot of people have bought and owned the title. So it may be that they successfully block future sales and get it removed from online marketplaces. 
who knows? This is going to be really messy. And I think Nintendo may really have gone over the line with this one, at least in my opinion. As I was drinking my morning cup of tea before making this video, I still have morning voice as you've noticed, I was reading up on some of Nintendo's past controversies just to remind myself for context. This helpful article by The Gamer published back in December of 2021 reminds us of only some of Nintendo's major controversies because they've had quite a few since then. Number one on their list is the time that Nintendo tried to ban video game rentals targeting the all too nostalgic blockbuster. I actually remember this being discussed back in the day and as a little kid that loved blockbuster, it was, it was, it was terrifying. No more SNES games at blockbuster. It also lists their many DMCA attempts against people that make fan Pokemon games or basically any kind of Nintendo fan game from Smash Brothers to Metroid. It also cites their endless DMCAs against YouTube content creators. So I'm not using any Nintendo footage in a video critical of them on YouTube even to this day. But back in the day, they used to basically copyright strike anyone who was doing, you know, back in the days when people watched Let's Plays on YouTube, if you made a Let's Play of a Nintendo game, you were getting that copyright struck. The gamer also cites the time that Nintendo were sued for the poor quality of the Switch Nintendo controllers, which to be honest, that's not litigiousness on the part of Nintendo, but oh my god, the Switch controllers are terrible. And of course, Nintendo's endless war on emulation. Though I don't know what you guys think, let me know in the comments below, but for me, this is really a, a step up. They're going after a pretty darn successful indie game developer that's also located in Japan, off nothing but alleged similarities between the animals in its game and Pokemon, which when you consider that all of the Pokemon knockoffs of the 90s era didn't receive any legal flack from Nintendo or their associates, it kind of comes across poorly. My suspicion is that Nintendo have only responded now because they have lots of evidence of the reviews over the year that Pal World has been at almost a year now, it's nine months, that will call it quote unquote, as many reviewers did, Pokemon with guns, they will go to the Japanese court and they will say, look, the public have already spoken. The public look at this game and they think Pokemon. They look at the main pal on the front of the game and they go, oh, it's fat Pikachu with a minigun. And then they'll say, well, the public have already proved our point. We're the only Japanese company with a fat electrical rat on the front of our games. And then they're going to go, Judge Sama, please stop them. And the judge is going to go, hi. And uh, I think that's kind of how this is going to go, sadly. What the actual fallout will be for gamers, I myself was actually going to go back and play Paul World at some time. It's not my kind of usual game, but I was having a blast with it off and on. And it would be very strange if this is a game that you can only access through other means after all of this. Well, as usual, if you enjoy daily gaming news and commentary, give me a like and a subscribe. The dopamine always cheers me up in the mornings. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video on this topic because I guarantee you it will not be the last one. I heavily predict that the internet is about to melt down over this issue. And while it does, peace.